Hello YouTube, it is your host Jonathan from Chris Cars 164 back again with another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the most recent main lines that have come out. I'm going to show you the ones that I've got, the highlights, which I collect all of them, but we'll be showing you ones I've got in the past week. So first off we're going to start with the Hot Wheels Screen Time Batmobile. This is the Scooby-Doo. Batman crossover. It's pretty cool. I like the wheels. Makes it look really good. Next up we have the an X Racers Grupo 24. Grupo 24? I don't know how you say that. but This one's really cool. I was looking forward to this. I like this car the way it looks a lot. It's new for 2019. Very cool car. Next up we have one from Hot Wheels Space. It's called I Believe. Looks like an alien. Actually in the picture it looks like there's actually somebody in there. Like an alien or something. I'll have to get another one of those and open it up. See if it actually does have that. Next up we have a Baja Blazer. This is number 10 out of 10. Hover Storm. Not huge on this one. This one's not that cool, but to complete the collection, I have it. It's not a casting I'm crazy over, that's for sure. But uh, next up, we have the Hot Wheels 50th Concept from the Speed Blur series. This is number 1 of 10. I definitely liked the uh, Hot Wheels Race Team paint job better. And this one, but it's cool. I like the red base. <laughs> Looks good. Then we've got from Hot Wheels Game Over, we have the Bone Shaker. Very nice one. I really like the paint. You can't really see it on film that well, but it's like a kind of a metal flake red. It's got small metal flakes in it, but really cool. I like this one a lot. Next is the Volkswagen SP2. Very nice one. Can't wait to see that one recolored. Might as well stick with the Volkswagens and we'll go for the next two, which is the Cool Combi, number two out of 10. Magnus Walker. Inspired livery. Pretty cool. I like the matte blue on this. It looks good. And then here we have the number 4 out of 10, the Volkswagen Squareback. In purple. That color is awesome. Really nice. That's all the Volkswagens that I got this time around. Then we have one from Hot Wheels Race Day, number 10 out of 10. My favorite one, the SRT Viper GTSR. Very nice. I love Dodge Vipers. It's my dream car. Of course, I'm going to buy it. I bought two, actually, and I have one loose already. It's awesome. Next up, we have number three of five out of the Nissan series. The Nissan 300ZX TT. So we got T-tops. New for 2019. And I bought a bunch of these, so we're opening this one. Very nice. This one's going to look really good on the Hot Wheels Highway. All right, now, next up we have another one from Hot Wheels Space, number two of five, the Tesla Roadster with Starman. This one is really cool. You see the astronaut in the driver's seat. It's got detail in the back and in the front. Actually, it looks like those headlights are part of the glass. I think they are. That's pretty cool. 
They blend in really well. I like that. And we have another one from the Speed Speed Blur, the Speed Blur set, number four of ten, the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. This one is really cool. I like the color a lot. I'm not. I think they could have put different wheels on there and it would have looked better, but very cool. I'll have to open one of these up and paint the headlights and taillights in just to make give it a little bit more detail. Then we have from the Hot Wheels Rescue series, the Lamborghini Countach Pace Car or Police Car. This one's nice. I don't really like the wheels, but the rest of it's nice. Maybe I'll have to wheel swap this one when I put it on display. Those gold five spokes just don't look that good, in my opinion. Then from Muscle Mania, we have two cars. We have number 10 and number eight, the 65 Mustang 2 plus two Fastback and the 2011 Dodge Charger RT. Not particularly crazy about either of these, except for the Zamac one. And it's only because it's Zamac that I really like it that much. I don't have the regular version of this yet. The regular white one they released in a few cases ago, I think. I don't have that, but... It's a cool one. So, we're gonna get into the trucks now. Actually, we got three more mainline ones, regular ones. We have the Back to the Future DeLorean hover mode from the Hot Wheels screen time. It's alright. I wish I had wheels. I don't really like the hover mode version, but... I had, it to, I had to get it to complete a set. The TV series Batmobile. I like this one. It's really cool. I like the red windows. And then we have the 96 Porsche Carrera, which is getting opened. Because I need it to put up in my Porsche shelf. I was really looking forward to this car. And it did not disappoint. It's very cool. Very clean too, it's got a good amount of detail on it. it makes it look complete. All right, next up we have the recolor of the 2000, of the 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab. And this matte orange with the camo. Pretty cool. I was stoked when that casting first came out. You know, I collected it and I kept buying a bunch of them. I'm not huge on it now. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I have so many. But Then we have the recolor of the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. The blue looks way better than the red. Especially on the card. Looks great. Then we have the Jeep Wrangler in silver. That paint looks nice. That metal flake silver is really good. I love this one. Then we have the Heavy Hitcher and Hype or Hyper Rocker. I was really excited to find this. I was one of the castings I was really looking forward to in this these new cases. And I am very happy with it. The headlights and taillights are both part of the glass. So they're see-through, which is really cool. Nice castings. And that truck is awesome. I'm going to have to get a couple more so I can have a loose one. Put it out with all my other tow trucks. And then we have the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Which I bought a bunch of these, so we're opening this one too. This is another one I was really looking forward to. This thing is awesome. It's got a tire in the back. Very cool truck. Then we have, these aren't mainline, I don't think, but uh, the step up, these are the truck series from Walmart exclusives. And the cards are all they're all wet and not good. So we're gonna open these up. Take a look at them. 
probably worth more loose than they are on the card at that point when it's all wet and moldy. This one's pretty cool. I have a few variations of this from when I was a kid, though not in very good condition. And then next up, we're going to do the Ford F-150, 2015 Ford F-150, which actually I think is the very first loose one I have. Probably should have showed you the card art, but it's all right. I'm sure you all know what it looks like. That one's nice. Probably the best, best variation of that one I've seen. We have one that I was really looking forward to, the Path Beater. I love this truck. It's like a little S10 or something like that. Or a Nissan hard body, I'm not sure, but this one is awesome. I buy these every time I find them at flea markets. What the heck? No matter what variation it is or if it's the same one, I have a whole bunch of these trucks. And this one is especially nice. I really like the paint. The axle is bent, just like all my other ones. That kind of sucks. That was always a problem with these small trucks is that they had such big wheels on them, they are easy to get stuck. This one messed up. That's not gonna roll. I already broke the front axle. It's still a very nice truck though. Put it on display. Maybe take it apart one day and fix it to where it actually rolls. And next up we have the 49 Ford F100. See if this one doesn't want to open just like the other. I don't think I have any Ford F100s from this year, this body style. This one's pretty nice. And then we have the 1970 Dodge Power Wagon. I don't have the whole set. I think I'm missing all the Chevys. But this is the best one, in my opinion, in this entire set. That just plain glossy red. It's like a brownish red. Really nice. Love this truck. And park it right on top of the Ford. Or not. All right. The last two I have for today. The Mazda Repu, the basic version. This is not the Super. I thought I was going to open it, but I'm not going to open this one. Even though I have a bunch, I'm not going to open it. Because I found the Super as well. My very first Super treasure hunt ever. And it is beautiful. The card is destroyed. That's how I found it. This thing is awesome. First ever super treasure hunt. Look at this thing. Got the black chrome base. That paint is just awesome. Extra detail on the top with the T-Hunt logo and Hot Wheels logo. This thing is gorgeous. I never understood before why uh, everybody was so excited about these treasure hunt or super treasure hunt cars. I understand now why everybody loves them so much. And there's a little gold badge if anybody wants to see that. And I, I thought it was pretty cool that even on the cards, the trucks are different. So you can see that this one has different wheels than this one on the card. It has the extra detail on the hood. The paint, you can see the paint difference. The grills look the same, so you can't really tell that it's got the black chrome grill. But it is an awesome truck. I was so excited when I found this. Only thing I saw was that front wheel right there. And I picked it up, and I looked at it to make sure it was real. And then I pulled my phone out of my pocket, and I called my girlfriend. And told her about it. Because I was so excited. This thing is beautiful.
All right, well, there's my hand. Pretend that didn't happen, guys. All right, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any of these cars too, if you found the Super Treasure Hunt actually, let me know in the comment section. It is a beautiful truck. If you haven't found it and are trying to find it, I really wish you all the best of luck because this thing is super nice. All right, until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy hunting.